Okay, so here we have a very work in progress merge request, and I guess you all know what that means. But unlikely when I'm doing no merge requests, here I'm completely lost on the final objectives, especially because there is a lot of discussion about kickoff redesign and different issues. I could have gone to Telegram and asked KDE people for details, but then again a magnificent person as myself just can't talk to common mortals. Anyway, the point is that what you'll see here, it may be completely different than what will arrive in Plasma 5.21. And so, with last commit 5 days ago, this is what we get. First thing to notice is that the menu has significantly gone bigger, and that is irrelevant to my supersized fonts. The second thing, is that on favorites we now get an application grid, and we can even rearrange our icons. And by the way? Look who else has truncated the app names, ha! Huh. This grid obviously has all the common functionality, like the standard app menus. And on an app like Plasma Text Editor, we'll also get jump lists with the recent items. Meanwhile pay attention to that header title. That's a new design element in Plasma we'll get in many new context menus, including some on Dolphin. Next in on all applications view, we have a list ordered by alphabetical order, plus alphanumeric separators too. Go into a category everything is again alphabetical ordered, but the separators are not needed this time, since we have much less items. Start typing will activate the search, that will get the full width of the box, so basically everything is much more clear to discover. Plus the animation of entering and leaving is not bad either, Although I have to say that latest versions of both K1 and Plasma have some performance issues, at least with NVIDIA drivers. Anyway, on bottom we also have the Places panel, which is giving us access to our files, plus we have history and often used options. And again the search will work exactly as before. And finally on bottom we also have the Sleep Restart and Shutdown options, plus the Epic Leave menu. Actually I believe because the true nerds never close their PCs, they really have issues to even design those menus. So anyway, that was everything for now, and I didn't go to an actual opinion review, because I really really don't know if that is anything close to the final. One thing to say though is that the size do matter. Some things should be smaller, some things should be bigger, and I find these UIs more convenient to be bigger.